In my head, there are only two ways to get a good pair of TWS earbuds. Either it's from high-end, well-known brands like Apple, Bose, Beats, or you go on Amazon, pick the best sellers. The reason for the first one is very obvious. They are phenomenal products, no questions asked. And the reason for the second one, well, to my understanding, they are generally reliable and backed by the service from Amazon, so you don't need to worry about anything. This time, we got a product from the second category, the T20 TWS earbuds from Tozo. And if you think this is just normal earbuds, then you might be surprised by the awesome features it has. So stick to the end, then you will know. For those of you who don't know about Tozo, it's a brand that will pop up in the top three of the search results if you're looking for TWS earbuds on Amazon. I mean, they are in that position for a reason. Plus, some of their products are even recommended by big influencers on the internet. That means something. Other than this, let's talk about some great features. Starting off with the unboxing experience, well, it's pretty standard. It's a white box with the manuals, charging cable, fine set of ear tips, and lastly, the earbuds and the case. Everything is presented in a very flat way, nothing too fancy about it. Let's check out this charging case. It's wrapped by a piece of plastic film, sort of a protection for it, a slightly nice touch for such budget earbuds. When you hold the case in your hand, it's fairly light and small, so it does not put extra weight in your pants. On the front, there's a battery level indicator showing the metric in percentage, and it tells you that the left and right earbuds are charging. Personally, I do not worry too much about the battery life of earbuds since I wouldn't wear them all the time, so it usually lasts days before I need to charge them. But this percentage metric will ease the anxiety of battery life if you do care about it. At the back is the Type-C charging port, something that AirPods Pro has finally managed to catch up with. Now here is the first surprise, it has wireless charging. In a million years, I wouldn't imagine such feature on inexpensive earbuds. We have tested the wireless charging on Xiaomi charging pad and the power bank, it works like a charm. Now let's take the earbuds out, see if it can deliver more surprises. The stems are tilting towards the upper direction, so it feels natural to take the earbuds out with both hands. This is a very intuitive design. The buds are also very light, and the weight distribution is reasonable. When I'm wearing them while working, it feels like nothing. The outer side is a bit shiny finished compared to other parts, and I'm glad that the area where my fingers would hold the buds are matte finished, so it's not slippery at all. Overall, the earbuds design is very sleek. For the listening experience, I did not have high hope for it, but after I tried them, I had some different opinions. The earbuds come with 7mm speakers and 10mm dynamic drivers. The sound it generates is much better than some lousy TWS earbuds. And the killer features are the Orange X Acoustic 2.0 and the app. There are 16 preset EQ modes and you can customize the touch control for each bud. I dig into these two features and I found it's really helpful for customizing the sound for my liking. For example, I usually listen to some podcasts on my way to work and I would choose the standard setting to hear vocal clearer. If I want to listen to some pop music and I'd like to hear more of the instruments playing to immerse myself into the whole song, then I would jump to bass plus or jazz to have better music experience. During my time with the earbuds, the sound stage is much larger than my old AirPods and the vocal is clearer and crisper. Some instruments like the piano and violin at the background is a lot hearable, so it enhances the whole experience a lot with a pretty good balance. Overall, this is an experience you would hardly have in today's earbuds at this price. Another feature you probably need is noise cancellation. Well, it has an ENC call noise reduction. It's not as powerful as ANC, but when it comes to improve the call quality, it definitely helps a lot. Here, we tested them in real scenario. I called my colleague standing by the traffic with some cars coming back and forth. I think the performance is actually very good. Hello, hello. This is the call quality test of uh, Tozo T20. I'm standing right next to the traffic with a lot of cars coming back and forth. Um, is my voice very clear? How about the uh, noise reduction? Is it good? Just let me know. I have also tested the connection, it's genuinely great. Since it's built upon BT 5.3, it can handle normal office environment pretty well. I've also tried to walk out of the office for about 8 meters and 3 walls in between. The connection is still very stable. The reconnection to the previous device is also very fast. Then I tried to switch between phones, the switch is very smooth and intuitive. The other feature that adds more value to the experience is IPX8 waterproof and dustproof rating. By checking the earbuds, I do not see any seam between each piece of the material, and I normally trust my way of wearing things daily, so I think it can meet most people's needs in this part. 
And also the battery life, it claims that it can support 42 hours playtime. Well, I did not try to drain the battery in a whole long time, but it did last a week of use during my time with them. So pretty good performance as well. I want to sum up my experience with the Total T20 Tidbits earbuds by saying this. This is a great budget earbuds that has so many killer features. Sleek design, wireless charging, customizable EQ, and ENC noise reduction. It reminds me of the budget smartphones this year, embracing people who have solid needs for basic features but with the budget in mind. So if you want to get a pair of earbuds like this, this is a very good choice. So as usual, the link is down below and you can see if it is worth a try. I'm Wei Fang from China. We'll see you next time.